channel so in the today's lecture we are going to discuss some of the aggregate operations that are basically used in the database management system okay so as it is clear from the name aggregation okay so it is a kind of operation which is applied on many number of values okay so let me explain you what i'm trying to say let's suppose i am having one relation employed okay and i am having various attributes of this relation employed first attribute is employee id second we have is employee name third one we have is employee salary okay so let's suppose i am having three employees okay the name is let's suppose swati neha and let's suppose tahir okay and the salary of these three employees is like this 35000 and 40000 okay so this is my relation i am having three attributes of this relation okay so what are my aggregation operations let's suppose we have a minimum we have a maximum we have sum we have average and we have a count this five are basically your aggregate operations okay so these aggregate operations you would be applying on one column okay this aggregation operation you would be applying on one column okay and you would be looking at each and every value of that column to get the output okay so let me tell you first operation the minimum operation okay so if i ask you tell me the minimum salary of the employee okay i want to find that employee whose salary is minimum okay so i would be using this minimum operation okay so what query i will be writing if i i want to know what is the minimum salary i am having in my relation okay so the query is going to be select minimum okay i want to apply this operation on which column this this salary column so select minimum <coughs> salary okay from your table name what is my table name employee 
then you are fetching one output. Okay, so that is basically your aggregate operations. Okay, so now let me tell you if I want to find the maximum salary of the employer. Which aggregate operation I would be using if I have to find the maximum salary of the employee? This maximum operation. Okay. So instead of writing it here min, I would be writing here max. Okay. So select maximum salary from the employee table. Okay. So what is going to be my output in this case? I would be processing on all the values of the salary column and I would be fetching the maximum value present in this column which is 40,000. So in this case, so in this case my output is going to be 40,000. Okay, so this is the use of your maximum operation. Minimum operation we use to find the minimum value of one particular attribute. And this maximum operation is basically used to find the maximum value of the one particular attribute of the relation. Okay, so if you look at all of these five aggregate operations are basically numerical. Not numeric. It is going to give you the numerical value. Okay, all these operations are mathematical operations and they are going to give you the output in a numerical form. You will not get output as a character. You would be getting output as a numeric value. Okay, so now let me tell you about the third aggregate operation which is sum. So, some operation is basically applied on one attribute. Okay, it is a numerical operation. So, you would be applying it on a column which is storing the integer values. Okay, if let's suppose I am having, let's suppose I am having name. You cannot perform some operation on the character values. You would be performing the sum operation on the numeric values. So this operation is basically applied on the attribute which is storing the numeric value. Okay. So what is going to be the output of this operation? If I write like this. Sum. Okay. So what we are going to do? We are sum. The all values present in the salary. Okay. I am going to sum all the values present in the salary. Okay. So even if you look at the MS Excel. If you are. If you have used MS Excel. So you can perform some operation on these values. By selecting all these three fields. In MS Excel. Okay. You could be summing up all these values. We have a one option sum option present in the MS Excel. Okay. So what is going to be my output in this case? We are summing it up. So output is going to be 105k. Okay. This is going to be my output in this case if we are applying the sum operation on the salary attribute. Okay. So now let's discuss the average operation. Okay. So even if you look at when you, you know, when any company recruits the employees, they always talk of the average package. Okay. They always talk about the average package. So what is the average package which our company provides to the employees? Okay. So average is very important operation. Okay. So if I want to perform this average operation on the salary attribute which is a numeric, you know, which is going to store all of the numeric values. So what is going to be my output? If I am applying the average operation on all the values of the 
is salary attribute 30 plus 35 plus 40. Okay, how many number of values we have in total? Three values are there. So divide by 3. Okay, 105k divided by 3 which is equal to 35,000. Okay, so what is the average salary we are giving to the employee? 35,000. Okay, so each and every employee has a different, different salaries. Some employee has 30,000, some employee has 40,000. So what is the meaning of the average salary? Average salary means we are making balance among the salaries of all the employees. So what you can say now? You can say that each and every employee of your company is paid 35,000. Okay, you are equalizing all the employees having different different salaries. Now what we are saying that each and every employee of our company is given 35,000 at the average. Okay, okay. So if you multiply 35 by 3, you are getting back 105,000. Okay, so that is the basic idea of studying the average operation. You are equalizing the salary of all the employees having different different salaries. Okay, so this is our actually average operation. Okay, now let's discuss the fifth operation, the count operation. my channel.